Hello and welcome to SmartSpeed onboarding series. My name is Artem, I am a product manager at SmartSpeed. In this episode, we'll learn how to customize and brand the homepage of your workspace. Here is what we are going to cover. We'll talk about design options for solution tiles, learn about solution categories, see how to set the color scheme for the homepage, change logos, and customize the banner of your homepage. Homepage is the first thing you see when you log into your SmartSuite workspace, and you can customize it to your liking. Every workspace member can pick a preferred style of solution tiles. There are four different options to choose from, each one better than the other. Workspace admins can also set a default style that will be applied for all new workspace members. Solutions on the homepage can be grouped into categories. This makes the entire layout look much cleaner and better structured, especially for workspaces that have hundreds of solutions. Categories can be created and managed by admins only. Each category has a name, an icon, and an optional description. And also note that descriptions support rich text formatting, so you can add things like bullets or URLs. Categories can be sorted either manually or in alphabetical order. And admins can also sort solutions within a category with drag and drop. Solution managers can create new solutions within a selected category or move existing solutions between categories if they need to. The workspace branding menu allows admins to customize the look and feel of the homepage even more. The model consists of three tabs. General tab lets you define a custom heading for the page. This can be your company name, a slogan or something more general, like workflow panel. You may also pick the color scheme for the homepage. And you can see how changes I'm making are shown live on the background. But note that they will not be saved unless I click the apply button. Next step is dedicated to company logo. You may upload a main logo that will be displayed on the banner and also pick a small logo bug that will be shown next to the workspace name. And the logo bug can be either an image or just a letter with a colored background. The banner tab is where the magic happens. There are two types of banners to choose from. When set to default, the banner will use the color scheme that we selected on the general tab. You can also hide or show the logo and change the banner size, selecting between large or regular. Custom banner allows even more variations. First of all, you may select the background image. You may upload your own, pick one from a predefined list of images, or even generate it with AI. And when done, it can be repositioned to make sure it fits the banner perfectly. Next, there are three options to display an avatar. By default, when it's in the picture mode, every workspace member will see their own profile image. But we can change it to be a static icon with a colored background. or make it a static image, maybe a company logo. Finally, the two fields for greeting and welcome message let you compose a text that can be both informative and feel personal for the user. This is because you can combine static text with a set of system variables that contain username, role, department, etc. So your greeting can be welcome first name. And the following message can mention their role and department if you want to keep things more formal. Or it can be something engaging and positive, like have a great summer. This concludes the overview of the workspace branding and customization. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun when applying all these tools to your homepage. And I will see you in the next one.